Hey everybody, it's Caleb here again. Now today we're going to be working on building the table that this whole big monster CNC rig is going to actually be mounted to. So what we've got set up pretty much is we've got a kitchen table down in the basement here with a piece of MDF and it's kind of been leveled out as best it, that I can do. Essentially what we have is we have a couple longer pieces that are going to be the, the front and back you know, spans on this table and then we have five uh, spans that will go in between that as supports. Uh, we've got a bunch of pieces of angle aluminum that are going to be uh, basically mounted like that and then one of the spans will be mounted up kind of like this in between there and they'll be bolted together and that's what's going to be holding it. I think that should be good enough but then again I don't know for sure so I guess I'm just going to try it and see how it works so let's get started. I've got basically the outer rail uh, structure uh, bolted together. Uh, I still got the three internal ones to mount uh, but it's pretty much squared up now I'm pretty happy with that from this angle you can kind of see the uh, brackets that I've whipped up they're just uh, I think an inch and a half by inch and a half um, angle it's just got some self tapping screws uh, mounting it together and it seems to be good enough as far as I'm concerned it doesn't like to move too much and once the rest of them are mounted in I think it's gonna be very secure and of course then there will be MDF put on top of it. Alright, so I've been working on it a little while today uh, and picked up where I left off last night and it's coming along really nice. I've got all of the struts in there. A uh, little bit of a problem though, my I should have spent more time making sure my table was going to stay flat and this morning I woke up and I started working on it and not realizing that the MDF had kind of settled a little bit. Uh, so there's a couple places where the, the inside uh, struts, whatever you want to call them, uh, are not exactly flush with the outside uh, support, like right here especially. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to actually unbutton these uh, from the bolts and just drill them out a little bit bigger so I can adjust slightly. Uh, I could do that or I could also end up using a little bit of shim stock on the top between the MDF and, and the surface of the frame here. So. All right, so because I suck at trying to figure out a way to make a very flat surface and I failed, which I still think doing the MDF on on like something and leveling it out would work. I just sucked at actually getting it to work. So anyways, what I'm doing now is I've gotten two of them done and they seem a lot better. Essentially, I'm taking a one, two, three block and putting it right there and then clamping uh, between this point and this point. Uh, to kind of straighten them out and before I'm doing that I'm actually drilling uh, the the brackets you know these brackets here if you can see that uh, drilling out the holes a little bit so it has a little of adjustment and then mounting it back in so we're gonna do that on the last one and I'll show you how I did that and you can see right here as I'm screwing in this last screw how I've attached everything kind of with the one two three block and a couple wood clamps all right, so everything is all kind of more or less, I think, ready to go. I've got the piece of MDF cut out and put on it, and I've been messing around with the level, uh, just trying to use it as a straight edge to see how uh, flat the whole surface is and see if there's any gaps. And there doesn't appear to be from any directions that I've been looking at it from. Now, what I'm going to use to attach the MDF to the frame is these quarter-inch 20 uh, screws. Uh, I'm going to countersink with this half-inch Forstner bit and then drill through the since there's a little point I'm going to use that as a guide to drill the tap hole for these quarter inch 20 uh, screws I did a little bit of test in the in some of the cutoff of the one of the frame pieces and there's not a lot of thread there but I think it's going to be actually stronger than those self tapping screws that I used uh, to hold the frame together so we'll try that and see how it works hopefully it works really good all right, so all of the bolts are done on the table, and it's all bolted together, and it's still looking very, very flat. Um, so I think we're ready to flip it over and mount the legs. All right, now I haven't talked about the legs very much, and that's partially because pretty much all they are is this uh, eighth-inch thick steel angle with a bunch of holes uniformly punched into it. What I've done to it is I've welded little pieces of steel on the bottoms here like this, and then tacked in a bolt that is basically going to work as a leveler so uh, they're not pretty and my welding skills lack quite a bit but they work uh, they're a little bit flimsy 
kind of, I think, but, and I would grant anybody if they were complaining about that. What I'm going to have is a shelf that is about maybe six inches off of the, off of the base of these things that's going to basically hold like the electronics and the vacuum and all that kind of stuff underneath the machine. And so I think that that, that extra framing will help uh, strengthen it, but we'll see. All right, so we can finally use the tripod again for the camera because we're on legs. Uh, it's a little bit on the shaky side, as you can kind of see, but as far as I'm concerned, this is pretty awesome as is. Uh, the table is pretty darn flat. You can kind of see one of the rails there just sitting there on some one, two, three blocks. I've realized that I have kind of an issue that I somehow had an oversight uh, when designing the end plates. I didn't account for the MDF uh, thickness, I guess. thought I did, but apparently I didn't. So I'm going to have to probably elongate some of the holes so that everything will work. So hopefully you uh, enjoyed the video. I don't know. It's kind of probably going to be a sort of a boring one because all I'm doing is assembling a table from scratch. Um, nothing too fancy or anything, but... Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like it. That always makes me feel better. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below the video. And you'll get updates in your feed uh, about this project. But anyways, have a great day or evening or whatever. Bye.